Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today I get to walk you around a used 2017 Newmar Dutch Star 4002, 4002. Um, before we get started on this, I just want to say this coach is probably a 9.5 out of 10. It is absolutely beautiful. Not a scuff or anything to really speak of on the exterior. Interior is very clean as well. Um, so this will be a great coach for someone who's looking for a 40 foot bath and a half triple slide diesel pusher. So first things first, let's talk about the exterior. We got the Abyss full body paint in just beautiful condition. Still has that nice deep shine to it. Now up top there, normally I would have them out, but we're getting some weird wind gusts today, so I'm not gonna put them out. We have the two integrated Gerard Nova awnings. Now that was an option in 2017. And with that Gerard awning pack, you also got the Gerard slide out toppers, which you can't see, but it's that black rail kind of midway up there. That black rail is gonna be a cover that comes out over the top of your slide out, keep the dirt and debris off of it, protect the top of your slide. And then you also get the Gerard window awnings. There's gonna be three of them on this coach. So we get these two, which are in front of the living room. There's one on the back on the other side and one on the back front on the other side. And we'll get to those here in a little bit. Up front here, We've got one of our fuel fills. Now this 2017 Newmar Dutch Star has 100 gallons of diesel fuel with dual side fuel fills, so you can fill it from either side. In the front compartment, option in 2017, we had the Dometic refrigerator freezer on a tray. So pop it open, controls over on this side to control the temperature. You can set it to be a refrigerator, you can set it to be a freezer, whatever you need. In this compartment, we've got the large pass-through tray. So this is a complete pass-through. Now the tray will come out 60% either direction. Makes things a lot easier, so you're not trying to crawl into that bay to get your items out, you just pull them out to you. Easy to slide. Even when it's loaded, they're still very easy to move around. Third compartment, the half bay. So we do have another tray on this 4002. This one is not a full pass-through. On the other side, you're gonna have your water heater, things like that but just more uh, optimal storage solution rather than having to crawl into those bays. Down below, we've got the 32 inch Sony HD TV. And then below that, we do have the Bose Solo 7 soundbar for a little bit better sound quality than what you get out of the TV. Up here, we do have a selector switch. Now that selector switch is for that Bose soundbar, it's its input source. So you can change it to be the dash radio or this exterior TV. If you want to listen to music, you can just switch to the dash radio, turn on your favorite radio station and have music. Or you can just use your phone, Bluetooth to that uh, soundbar and play music that way as well. Coming back, we've got our 13 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. Now this again is dual side fuel fill, just like the diesel fuel tank. And then the last compartment, we've got the Freightliner service compartment. So we've got two chassis batteries. There's gonna be 12 volt Alliance chassis batteries. Battery disconnect. So if you need to shut this off, or if you're putting the coach in storage for some reason, you can shut that off, make sure that we don't have any parasitic draw on these batteries and come back to a dead coach. Coming around to the back. The 2017 Newmar Dutch Star 4002 was powered by a nine liter Cummins ISL, which produces 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot pounds of torque. One thing I love about Freightliner and how they do this is all the things that we need to access for our maintenance intervals is very easy. So we've got transmission dipstick, engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill, fuel water separator. Um, the only thing that's underneath the coach is actually gonna be your air dryer, which is something you're only gonna change every two years anyways. So not too big of a deal. Up top, we have a full color HD backup camera. Now, Numar does give you a dedicated camera screen on the inside, which we'll show you. But when you turn that backup camera on, you do get grid lines as well to kind of help you point in the right direction. Down below, two inch receiver with a 10,000 pound towing capacity. And then a seven pin connector for your trailer brakes and trailer lights. which is going to bring us to the driver's side. So one thing to note, Newmar Dutch Star does come standard with a side mounted radiator. Gets a little bit of airflow to all of your engine components. Keeps you cool while you're in transit. Back here, other side of our diesel exhaust fluid fill. 
And then we'll go ahead and look up again one more time just to see those other two Gerard awnings or uh, window awnings. So you got one for the bedroom and then the other side of the living room. Really just covers your main windows. Keeps the sun from beating in, keeps it cooler during the summer. Um, all of our windows on here are gonna be dual pane tinted windows. So that helps with one, keeping it cooler during the summer, keeping it warmer during the winter, and it helps with noise. You know, at campground noise sometimes gets kind of frustrating. Having the dual pane windows does help with that as well. Right here we've got our water compartment. So water hose reel, so water hose on a reel. So it is a manual extend, power retract, just push a button and it sucks that hose back in. Just limits the things that you have to bring with you. So now you don't have to worry about bringing a water hose. We've got a whole house water filter, fresh water fill valve so we can manually fill the tank or if we're sitting inside the coach, if we have it on auto fill, push a button on the control panel, it'll just go ahead and fill the tank. Really nice if you're getting ready to depart from your campground. Black tank rinse, that's gonna be just a sanitization valve. Turns on a sprinkler system inside of your black tank, flushes everything out. Hot and cold exterior shower and our low point drains for winterizing this coach. Next compartment, we have a 50 amp power cord again on a reel. So manual extend, power retract. This is gonna be a 50 foot power cord. Next up, we have the Oasis the Oasis system. So that is going to be our heat as well as hot water. That will burn either diesel fuel or use electricity just depending on what you have available. If you're in campground and have full hookups, you can go ahead and use electricity. If you're out boondocking, you can hook it up on diesel. It's gonna burn about 0.4 gallons an hour using diesel fuel for hot water and heating this coach. Other side of our pass-through bay, like I said, 60% either direction makes accessing our items nice and easy. Last compartment here, we've got the uh, eight six volt AGM house batteries on a tray. So if you're the kind of person who does your own maintenance on these coaches, instead of having to fight getting eight batteries back into that compartment, you just pull the tray out to you. Now they do have two locking pins here just because this is a rather heavy tray. So as a safety feature, we have a locking pin on either side. Very simply, you just put it into its hole and away you go. Other side, fuel fill. Again, 100 gallons of diesel fuel. And then up front here, we've got our chassis fuses and circuit breakers. So this is gonna be all your Freightliner stuff, uh, power seats, um, anything Freightliner related is going to be, the, the fuse is going to be into that compartment. Now up front here what we can't see, and I have it running so I'm not going to open it up, but we have an Onan 8000 watt diesel generator. And with that 8000, or that 8000 watt diesel generator, with this being a used coach, has 963 hours on it. So a good low hour generator. And we will go through and service that, make sure it's working up to spec prior to this coach ever leaving our facility. While we're up front here, the stock number on this unit is 5U211703. Again, it's a 2017 Newmar Dutch Star 4002. Now we can go on inside. As we come in here, over on the left side, I do want to point out that we do have keyless entry. So you can put in your own five digit code and unlock that door, but more importantly, you can actually unlock all of your bay doors or lock them from that control pad as well. Now, going back with uh, power bay doors, there's also a switch right inside the door here that locks and unlocks them as well. And then Newmar does a really cool safety feature where they actually, when you put uh, release the parking brake on this coach, it will go ahead and lock all those bay doors as well so they're not popping open while you are in transit. So coming in here, we have all the slides closed up right now, just so you can see the space when you are in transit. So this is gonna be the space that you have to walk between the couches, get to the bathroom, the half bath, I should say, pretty easy. Refrigerator, freezer, and then cooktop, all of it very accessible, even with the slides closed. Now the 4002 is a little bit of a weird floor plan, not a weird floor plan, but a rare floor plan. 
because it has dual HWH hydraulic slides up here in the front. So we're gonna go passenger side first, the door side first. So what's gonna happen is this slide is gonna extend all the way out and then it's gonna drop down to go flush with the floor. So 2017 was a pretty cool year for Newmar, great year for the Dutch Star. Um, there's a couple things that changed in 2017 that I'll point out as we go along. One of them is this is the second year, in 2016 this was new, but 2017 was the second year of what Newmar calls more floor. So basically what that is, is hydraulic slides that are completely flush, giving you a full tile floor from front to back with no carpet breaks in this coach. So this is the second year Newmar put no carpet into the Newmar Dutch Star. Drops down, completely flush. Now, the other thing that happened with more floor is the heated tile floor actually extends into our slide outs as well. So you're not just having heated floor right here, it's all the way through this coach, um, which was new in 2017. A couple things I did not mention on the outside of this coach. Uh, this one does have the upgrade. Standard in 2017 was two 13,500 BTU air conditionings. This one was upgraded to the two 15,000 BTU air, con air conditionings with heat pumps, so you get a little bit of an additional heat source there. Um, we've got 105 gallons of fresh water, 65 gallons of gray, and 45 gallons of black. And there we go, we are fully opened up now. So let's go ahead and start in the back of this coach in the full bath. So 4002, you do have the bath and a half model. Even back here, we do have the egress door still. So if you ever had an emergency in the middle of the coach or the front of the coach, couldn't make it out there, you do have a way to escape from the back of the coach as well. It is a dual lock. So we have a handle lock as well as a deadbolt. This is open and closable. So if you want to use it to like load things into the back of the coach while you're getting ready to take, depart on a trip, you can absolutely do that. Over here, we have the stacked Whirlpool washer and dryer. There is quite a bit of room here. You're not really obstructed by anything when you get in here to do your laundry. Nice big deep medicine cabinet with two 110 volt outlets tucked into the back of it. Solid surface countertop with an undermount sink and then great toiletry slash bathroom necessity storage underneath that sink. And then Opposite, we've got some wardrobe storage. Now these shelves are removable or adjustable as needed, so you can move them up and down or just take them out altogether and have hanging storage. Down below those shelves, we do have the safe built into the back wall. And then 36 inch radius shower. Lots of room in here to do whatever you need to. There is the fold down seat. Um, if you want to take a seat or put your leg up to shave them or something. Rain shower head as well as the wand. And then this one actually has the option for the assist handle in the shower as well. Little lock on that door just to make sure that while you're in transit it doesn't come open. Which is going to bring us to the master bedroom. So let's start off with a 72 by 80 king bed. Storage up above it. I'm not gonna open them all up. And then on either side of the bed base, we do have two 110 volt outlets and two 12 volt USBs, as well as a little nightstand, um, just a place to throw your phone or whatever. And then storage underneath the bed. Now, one thing I would like to point out of this 2017 Newmar Dutch Star is all of the original equipment is still here. We still have all the original manuals, the leaf for the table, your chairs, it's all still here, even down to the original bed cover this coach came with new in 2017. Opposite of the bed, great storage here, just a hanging wardrobe. And then down below that we've got five drawers, four additional wardrobe. Now to the right of all those, 
We do have the false face here. Now this is gonna be your AV compartment. So if you're going to use the satellite on this coach, you can go ahead and put your receiver in here. That receiver would be linked directly to this 32 inch Sony HDTV. Another solid surface countertop, phone, wallet, keys before you go to bed. Great place to store all of that. And then before we get to the kitchen, we will talk about the half bathroom. So first things first, up top, all of our Numar fuses and circuit breakers. So very residential style circuit box, 12 volt fuses over here, 110 volt appliances here, and your two GFCIs. Really easy, if you're ever having a power issue, everything is consolidated in one spot so you don't have to search all around this coach. More toiletry storage. And then more underneath this countertop. And then another medicine cabinet. Total of four 110 volt outlets here in this half bath. For you or uh, getting ready in here hair dryer razor whatever you got plenty of power in that half bath for you now let's talk about some kitchen stuff 2017 4002 did come with a pantry with pull out drawers a total of six drawers here now each of these drawers is adjustable up and down as needed to optimize the storage for you and then to the right of that, we have a 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator. So that means that this refrigerator, refrigerator runs solely on electricity. There is no propane at all on this coach. So what that means for you is you have to run your inverter while you're in transit. Um, you don't have to run the generator. You don't always have to be plugged in. The batteries will run the inverter. The inverter will run the fridge. So, and then your alternator charges the batteries while you're driving. 1.7 cubic foot Whirlpool convection microwave. So that does double as a convection oven. More storage. All of our original hardware for that microwave is there in that left compartment or left cabinet. And then another solid surface countertop, big stainless steel undermount sink. To the left of that, we've got the two burner true induction cooktop. Now, I like to always point this out that Newmar puts cutting boards in the bottom side of our cooktop covers. It's just one little thing that makes a world of difference. One less thing that you have to bring along with you when you're going camping. And then the two burner true induction cooktop in 2017, it was the first year that you could actually just pop this cooktop out, take it outside, cook with it, and then bring it back inside, set it back into place. And, it, uh, and go cook in here. So really cool feature just being able to take the cooktop outside, reduces the need to bring like an exterior barbecue, exterior cooktop, anything. So in here, we've got all the original um, remotes that came with the coach, a couple manuals. This is gonna be the actual Freightliner uh, FCCC manual for this Freightliner XCR chassis. Three really big drawers coming along the right side. Dishwasher on a drawer that doesn't honestly look like it's ever actually been used. And then more storage on this right side. So two little wet storages there, you know, your scrubber, your sponge for doing dishes. All of our original manuals are right there in that cabinet. That is where the previous owner left them. And then this is technically your trash can drawer. A little bit small on the 4002 in my opinion, but at least it's still there. Gives you the option to put a trash can there if you wanted to. Now going across opposite of the kitchen, we've got the Euro booth dinette. So first things first, we've got storage underneath both sides of this Euro booth dinette. And then we do have the expandable table. Now in 2017, they did just have a single leaf for this table. And then with that, you get those two folding chairs that we saw underneath the bed. 
I'm just gonna pull one of them out. But this was kind of the first rendition of the Eurobooth dinette. Easily could sit four people here, have a meal. And then the cool thing is you get the back pads up against the wall. So it's comfortable even if you just wanna lounge in that dinette. One option that was also kind of cool for 2017 is we do have MCD power shades all the way around. So I had to hit two buttons there. I hit all night and down, and all of my shades are gonna come down. Limits you from having to walk around and pull all your shades down manually. Also, it's just kind of a cool touch. Up above on this door side slide out, we have storage going all the way across it. All of our cabinets in this new Marduk jar are going to be carpet lined to keep things from shaking and rattling while you're in transit. And last one. And then we've got the sofa here. Now back behind that sofa, we are gonna have a Sony 50 inch HD TV on a televator. Now this sofa here is gonna pull out, make a jackknife bed, 64 inch jackknife bed. And then opposite of that, we have the 87 inch. This one is actually gonna pull out and make a sofa sleeper, a trifold sleeper with an air mattress in it. In this cabinet, we actually have the original air pump that this coach came with for the air mattress to that couch. And then huge deep cabinets going along the off door side slide out. All right, so we'll talk about the, some controls and then the cab. So looking up in this compartment on 2017 Newmar Dutch Star, this is where all of our coach controls are. So starting up top on the left, we have the control for our Magnum 2800 watt inverter. So that is going to be what runs our refrigerator while we're in transit. It also gives us power to our, our 110 volt plugs when we don't have external power sources, sources such as shore power or the generator. Power control circuit over here, basically all it's gonna do is tell us where we're drawing our power from and what is powered by that. So right now I have the generator running, which means that I can run both my air conditionings, my water heater, all that stuff. Controls for that Oasis hydronic heating system. Again, this is your heat as well as hot water. And there's three ways you can run it. So one is burner, that's gonna be burning diesel fuel. AC1, which is one electric element, or AC1 and two, which is two electric elements. Each of those electric elements is 900 watts. So you do have to have an exterior power source in order to run those. Digi level, this is gonna tell us our water levels as well as our battery levels. Again, 105 gallons of fresh water, 65 gray, 65 black. Slide out controls for these two front slides. Exterior awnings, so this is gonna be for those window awnings that we, I showed you on the exterior. And then right here, this is our main awning control that is gonna be for the two integrated awnings that I was not able to open because we have weird wind today. And then these are gonna be our exterior lights. So security lights for both the driver and passenger side, um, black block heater, exterior step, and then exterior LED lights. I'm gonna open these shades back up. All right, so also this side, we've got the Sony sound control. That's gonna be for Sony surround sound inside of this coach. The controls for the WineGuard Traveler, that is an SK300 and then a Sony DVD player. Now, all this is gonna be connected to this front televator. This is gonna be the AV compartment for your front TV. Go ahead and sit down in the cab here. So, one thing I loved about 2017, 18, 19 uh, Dutch charts before they went to the newer dash is when you fired them up, you actually got a pre-trip checklist here on the light bar. So, it says jacks just, this is just a checklist. So it says jacks slash air level are up. You hit it to the right, it checks it off. Check tow vehicle, check tire pressure, engine maintenance, antennas down, disconnect power, disconnect water, disconnect sewer, bay doors closed, shower door locked, roof vents closed, awning arms locked, countertop clear, all doors locked, drawers latched, appliances secured, slide-ins in and secured, windows closed, 
CB radio on, and then it takes you to the actual light bar. Now, you don't have to go through that every time you fire this coach up, but it's a really cool feature. Um, it's really just to help you from creating a problem um, by being in a rush or whatever. So used 2017, we've got 32,777.9 miles on it today. So low mileage, average mileage for 2017. Um, this coach, you can tell, was very well kept. I know the videos don't do them justice, but this coach is easily a nine and a half out of 10. So over on my left side here, we've got the controls for the HWH computerized leveling. That is gonna be four point hydraulic leveling. When we pull into our campground, all you have to do is hit auto, or auto level. It's gonna one, release the air from the airbags to take that out of, the play, out of play, and then drop your four leveling jacks levels the coach out gives you a nice solid base while you're sitting in your campground tag dump really no need to ever use that unless you're in a really slippery situation power window for the power toll window for the driver engine brake on and off 2017 was the first year of a three-stage engine brake so you have a high medium and low option for that uh, engine brake touchpad for that allison 3000 mh transmission that is going to be a six-speed automatic transmission drive neutral reverse and then shift up shift down over on my left side, little red switch is gonna be mirror heat. And then to the right of that, we have power adjusting mirrors for both the driver and passenger side. Headlights on, uh, or marker lights, you can go to headlights or marker lights on. Incremental switch to brighten or dim the dash. Fog lights, parking brake, light bar control. So this is how I was controlling that checklist on my dash. So I can scroll through, you know, see what my fuel economy is. Um, transmission temperature, the date, time, how many miles, all that stuff there on the light bar, just like you have in almost every vehicle. 2017 Dutch Star does have the tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so there's a pedal over here on my left foot. To one, telescope, two, tilt. Now on my dash here, this was actually one of my favorite years of dashes, just because I felt like it was very easy to read. So we've got our tachometer up here, fuel level, depth level, and battery level, all on the left side. In the center, that gauge is dedicated to our speedometer. Over on the right side, we have our oil pressure, water temperature, and primary and secondary air tank pressures. And then 2017, you get kind of the fighter jet cockpit with a ton of switches. So dome lights on and off, those are just gonna be lights up above our head. If you drop something or you're trying to read a map, we do have lighting up above. Adjustable pedals in and out. For those of you who are taller or shorter, you can move those pedals away or closer, depending on what you need. Air horn switch, so we do have two horns on this 2017 Dutch Star. First is your city horn, second is your air horn. Just to you know, wake someone up if they're making you mad. Battery boost, if your chassis batteries died for some reason, you could use this battery boost switch, pull power off of your house batteries to get this engine started. Generator start and stop, overhead fans. Now you can't see them on the Newmar Dutch Star, but they're back behind the cabinets up in front of me. Helps with airflow, also helps with defrosting if you are in colder situations. And that's going to be a high, medium, and low switch for um, those overhead fans. And then visors and shades, that's going to be for the cab. So if I hit visor, it's going to drop down the sun visor. More for if you're parked, I don't recommend driving with it down even though you can see through it. And then shade is going to be your true privacy shade. Now I have this coach running right now, so it's only going to come down halfway. If I had this coach off, it would go all the way down, touch the dashboard, completely black this coach out. Courtesy lights, docking lights. Now these are very important. Docking lights are lights that face backwards. So if you're pulling into a campground at night, which always seems to happen, you can actually light up the spot that you're backing into to make it safer for you to back into. Hydronic fan, heater fan on and off. Now this is a cool feature that runs off of the Oasis. For those of you who travel in colder weather, um, us Colorado people who drive these coaches during the winter every once in a while, we know that it's impossible to keep a Class A heated or warm up here in the cab while it's you know below 20 degrees. So we actually can pull heat off of the main furnace of the coach to heat the cab as well, just by turning that switch on. Passenger side step cover, push a, push a button and out she goes comes up flush you can stand on that it does bear weight and then last but not least we have the entry lock so that's gonna be a power lock for that entry door and I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this 2017 Newmar Dutch Star 4002 um, 
Like I said, this coach is about a nine and a half out of 10. I did look at the tires on it. They have a date code of 0617. Um, that's out of our limit. So we're gonna put brand new tires on this coach before it ever leaving this facility, as well as service the engine, transmission, generator, go through everything on the house side to make sure that this coach is ready to go camping the day it leaves this lot. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week.